Hey folks, Dr. Mike Isretel here for Renaissance Periodization. Today's BS episode is about detoxes. It's going to be a short episode because they're great. They're not even BS. They work. You drink that weird liquid you buy at CVS and just three days of that liquid later and nothing else, you're a new you, so to speak. Maybe, but unlikely. So here's the deal. There are actually two ways to detox that are valid. Get out your pens and pencils. This is going to be crazy. You're going to be on the Hollywood diet in no time. Way number one is your body metabolizes or expels toxins through any number of routes, including delicious routes like the liver, urine, sweat, vomit, etc. Suppose you probably even expel toxins if you do the little thing with the things in your eyes and you're like, Ugh, you flick it at somebody randomly in the street. You never do that? Of course you don't. You're a good person. Why would you do something crazy like that? In any case, yep, sure, your body does that automatically for itself. The liver and kidneys are super ultra important for stuff like that. And of course, if there is a malfunction with your body, you're unable to ex uh, expel toxins on your own, or if the amount of toxin expulsion has overwhelmed your own organ system, you can go to the hospital and they do the super futuristic detox where they plug you into a bunch of machines and the machines kind of clean your blood for you. It's not pleasant. At least one of those methods is called dialysis. Something really seriously wrong has to be wrong with you. I said that twice. It's a bad deal. Okay. That's not the kind of detox you get after a weekend of partying. That's the kind of detox you get before a weekend of surgery. So those are the two ways to detox. Notice the drinking apple cider vinegar for two days straight and only drinking apple cider vinegar for two days straight is, is not on that list. Somehow it just didn't make it. Mild oversight. We'll take a look at the, whoever writes these slides. <laughs> Me. We'll have to write them better. But in any case, what would happen if you just drink apple cider vinegar or some kind of weird mix, the Hollywood diet, whatever kind of detox is cool nowadays. What, what happens if you just do that for a few days and only drink the stuff like they said? Well, you know, some people in Hollywood do that kind of thing and they get a little bit out of it. They do it when they feel sick from many days, if not more, of poor sleep, shitty food, unbelievable gobs of stress, alcohol. I know it's crazy. Many of your favorite celebrities drink to their detriment all the time. And of course, cocaine, which without it, Hollywood would never run. But, uh, you know, that adds up. And at some point, uh, these people don't really actually want to switch to a healthy lifestyle. So they go, okay, I'm going to be a piece of shit for many, many days straight. And then my body fucking can't handle it anymore. I'm going to have like two or three days of only apple cider vinegar. And they feel a little bit de-bloated and they feel a little bit fresher because they just stopped poisoning themselves for a while, which I guess you could say is kind of a cure. But hey, what are you doing for your New Year's resolution? And they're like, ah, you know, I'll take a few days here and there where I won't just like drop cocaine like it's table salt into a vodka tonic and down that whole thing. Slow clap. Amazing celebrities. You guys are doing great. A better idea, however, instead of detoxing, which does nothing except put a pause on your poisoning, is to actually try regular exercise, eating healthy, sleeping well, take care of yourself, maybe only doing crazy drugs in smaller amounts on occasion. If you actually do them on occasion, they tend to even feel more like drugs instead of like the daily you that you've now become dependent on drugs for every waking second of your no longer your own thoughts. Woo, that's rough. The reason that healthy eating and good sleep and good training help is that they're actually healthy lifestyles and make you actively healthier over time instead of just delaying your poisoning like detoxes do. No, you cannot make up two months worth of shitting on your body with three days of detoxing. It just doesn't work like that. How can you make up for it? Well, it's all lost. You can't make up for it at all, but you can build a healthier future by actually eating healthy and exercising and taking care of yourself and sleeping and, you know, do the drugs. They're fun. Just don't do them too much. You know, there's a uh, time and a place for everything and uh, don't do detoxes because their time and place is nowhere because they're fucking bullshit. See you guys next time.